a lot of the Quebec federations are are a little upset with me, which which I can understand, but not really. So I'll explain to you why I don't understand. When I started my federation, I started the Spectacle Familial Jacques Rougeau. I started my school. I had to figure out how can I stay in wrestling, my only passion in my life, the only passion I have in life. Competing with the WWF, there was no way I could do it. So I had to start a new creno, a new... So I had to start something. So when I thought, I said, hey, why don't we go back to basics? Let's go back to the... When, it, when, when you took a headlock and you brought a guy down with a hip toss headlock, it meant something. You know, where every move meant something. And where not only that, but the kids that are four years old could watch. And then as I, 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 I created all these characters, it became Spider-Man, became the mummy. It be, well, you were Spider-Man, Jeremy. I was, I was the original. And, uh, now that I think about it. <laughs> you know, and all these characters we had were like, well, Disney characters. So when the boys would come out for the little federations and they wanted to come, they'd, I'd say, well, listen, guys, there's no kicks. There's no punches. There's no swearing. If you swear one time, you're out. I'm going to every company in the province of Quebec and every city, every town in the province of Quebec, and I'm promising them a Walt Disney show where they could bring their kids from four years and older. There won't be any swearing. There won't be any beer. There was no beers in the arena. I had 5,000 people in the arenas. They're not allowed to sell beer. And the, uh, so it wasn't against the Quebec people. I would had to start something to match where... And I and it worked. I did something that Vince weren't doing. He was doing tables and chairs and all the whole gimmicks and the girls half dressed and all that stuff. And it, I let I let it to him. That's that's cool. So and then the other thing why a lot of the Quebec federations are are a little upset with me, which which I can understand, but not really. So I'll explain to you why I don't understand. I had you had to be ex exclusive when you work for me. If you wanted to come to work for my company, you couldn't work for no other company in Quebec. But now let me tell you why, if for the people who don't know why. If I have a show and I went to every company door to door and I sold 5,000 tickets door to door to fill up an arena in Shakutami, well, let's say, uh, and I promised them a show, a few times it happened. A couple of guys would have a, a show on the Friday night, the night before, but then they twist his ankle. So then imagine the mummy who twists his ankle. It's not only the mummy that can't wrestle anymore, it's Spider-Man that can't wrestle anymore. The ones that I sold in the, the companies when I went to sell for my tickets. So, so I wouldn't want the guys to go work for $25 or $50 just to go pick up a little paycheck in front of 25 or 50 people or 100 people and ruin my 5,000 people show. And, and so that's what the deal. It wasn't personal with anybody. It was, it was my business. I created a business. If you wanted to respond and be in my business and act appropriately to my business, you were welcome. It was my business. If you didn't like what I was doing, then start your business and have the people do what you want to do. But you can't criticize me for doing that. I succeeded tremendously. I went to schools for 20 years. I went to schools against bullying because of the thing with the bulldog that happened with me. People thought I was doing that to have good publicity and stuff. I wasn't doing that at all for my image. I was doing that because I was messed up in my mind. And every time I'd give a conference in a school and I'd, I'd, I'd see that I managed to save a couple of kids from bullying, it made me feel good. It made me feel like, okay, you're doing something good, Jacques. And it was therapy for me. That's all it was. So anybody who wants to criticize the way I did or acted, you could melt on that. You know, you could dwell on it if you want all your life. But let me tell you something. What I did, I did it with respect. And I did it politely. I did it respectfully. And I'm telling you right now to all the federations in Quebec everywhere. If you don't understand what I did, I respect it. But understand me now. Life is timing. And I'm telling you, if you want to have a chance one day to be a superstar around the world or to go into the biggest federations in the world, come with me. And I don't want exclusivity. You could now, you could go wrestle everywhere you want two days before my event. I don't care because if you're hurt, you're not there. Someone else will take your place. Bottom line, there's a lot of talent now waiting in line for that. At the time, I only had certain talent. You know, Jeremy, we used to practice together. And